Hi guys, welcome to the session. This is Rav Shekhar from St. Peter's Engineering College. In this session, we are going to discuss about the Bayesian belief network and how to train a Bayesian belief network. Let's start the session. What is a Bayesian belief network? Why this uh, belief network is required when the Bayesian network is available? Why? Because the Bayesian network is an independently working process. So, we need an independent process. For that reason, only we are using a Bayesian belief network. And the navi Bayes classifier makes the assumptions of the class conditional independencies. That is, given the class values of the label of a class label of a tuple, the values of these attributes are assumed to be a conditionally independent of one another. The navi in the navi Bayes algorithm, the classes are the independent, not an Dependent. Those are the independent values to one to another. So, for creating an dependency for the one to one, so we are using a Bayesian belief network. The Bayesian belief network are also known as a Bayesian networks of the probabilistic networks. It allows the class conditional independences between the subsets of the variables. Subsets of these variables. This simplify. Uh, this simplifies computationals when the assumptions uh, holds true. Then the navi Bayes classifier is the uh, most accurate in the comparison with all the classifiers. In practice, however, the dependencies will be the dependencies can create can exist the can exist the uh, between variables of the, the dependency sets. So by using these Bayesian belief networks, specifically joint conditional probabilities can be distributed and it can be distinguished between the values. They allow the all classes of the conditions, they allow the all classes of the conditions independently to between the subject and the variables. So here we have used the subsets and the variables will be the dependent values. So a direct cyclic graph or an indirect cyclic graph will be the dependency of that particular variables. A belief network is defined into two components. What are those two components means? One is in a direct cycle graph, another one is in a Direct cyclic graph on a set of uh, conditional probability tables will be the each node. For example, if you consider an example x, y, z, p. So x is connected to z and z is connected to the uh, y, uh, y is connected to the z and y is has a connectivity with the p. The nodes have any different uh, random variables, links will create the dependencies. x and y are the parents of z and y is the parent of P. So this is a family tree. It is a family tree which is uh, uh, gives a uh, which shows a clear dependency of the particular values. Why? Because X and Y are the parents. Z is the pa parents of Z and Y is the parent of P. So it shows in a clear family structure. So represents the dependency among the variables and gives the specification of the joint probability distributions. So there is no dependency between the Z and P. Why? Because Z is the son-in-law of the P. So P is the grandfather or grandmother of that particular Z. So has no roots of the cycles between the Z and P, but has a connectivity between the X and Y. Why? Because X and Y are the parents of that particular Z. So here we are creating the dependency and it shows that it represents the dependency among the variables. The variables may be distinct or the continuous value. They may correspond to actually attributed given the data or the hidden variables and it believed to be a form of a relationship. Each arc represents is a probabilistic dependency if an, if an arc is drawn from a node y to the z node y to a node z, then y is the parent or immediately predecessor of a z. So, under z is a descendant of y. So, each variable is a conditionally independent uh, or it is a non-descendant in the graph. So, given in this parents. So, figure uh, this figure shows that a simple belief network and adapts the 6 boolean variables that are all of the variables and it can be represented very clearly. So let's take another example of the Bayesian belief network. In this network, we are chosen a family history. That is a family structure of the 
uh, Bayesian belief network. Here the family history is there. And the family history is a connectivity with a lung cancer LC and it, the lung cancer will be connected to the positive X-ray. The smokers, where are the smokers? Yes, are there. The smokers will get a lung cancer and the lung cancer have a scanning report of the dyspnea and we have the smokers are the uh, emphysema. So, there is a conditional probability table for the variable lung cancer. The conditional probability table, table will give an uh, specifications of those lung cancer and the family history. Here, LC represents the lung cancer, FH represents the family history, and S represents the smokers. So, for lung cancer, we have a family history to the smokers have a zero point value, and the family history negation of S, that means the negation of the smokers will have a zero point five. Negation of FH, that means not related to the family history to the S is a zero point seven, and the negation of FH. FH2, negation of S will give the 0.1 values. So, where are the negative values? Sir? That means a negation of the lung cancer will have a 0.2, 0.5, 0.3, and 0.9. So, this shows a conditional probability for each possible combination of its parents. <coughs> each combination of its parents. Derivation of the probability of a particular combination of values of X is from the CPT. That is a conditional probability table will be considered. By using this formula, that is a P of X1 to the N is equal to, and this formula will shows the probability of the conditional probability. For example, having a lung cancer is influenced by a person of a family. Uh, lung cancer is influenced by a person of a family. family of a lung cancer as well as whether or not in the person is a smoker. So, whenever the family of uh, having a lung cancer but he is not a smoker. So, he, like this the connectivity will be connected from the family to the smoker. Note that the variable of the positive x-ray is independent of the whether the patient has a family history of lung cancer or the smoker. Given that we know that the patient has a lung cancer, in other words, one we know the outcome of the variable as a lung cancer, then the variable of the family history and the smoker don't provide the data. So, uh, smoker will don't have any values. So, any additional information regarding the positive x-ray, the odds will represent, the odds will show the variable of the lung cancer is a conditionally independent of emphysia and given it's in the parent of the family history and the smokers. So, a belief network has an, a one conditional probability table is available in each variable. Then this uh, CPT, that is a conditional probability table for a variable Y specifies the conditional dimensionalities or conditional distribution of the P of Y by parents of Y. Where the parents of Y are the parents of Y will give us any values of the particular data. So, this is the belief network, that is a dependency creation network of the base network. So, when you are seeing the previous base networks, they don't have any dependency. Here we have any dependency and it shows an, uh, it is not an independent values of the belief networks. How to train in a Bayes, uh, Bayesian networks? We have any different scenarios in the Bayesian network. Those are the four scenarios will be followed by the Bayesian network. So the scenario one will compute only the CPT entries. The scenario two will work on the network structures. Scenario three will work on the network structure unknown values. Scenario four will work on the network unknown structure, all hidden variables. So, we have a four scenarios. Uh, scenarios are there for the training of the Bayesian networks. How does a Bayesian belief network learn means in the learning of the training of a belief network, a number of scenarios are possible. We have a, these are scenarios will have a temporary or the variable connectivity between the one to one. The network topology or layout of nodes or uh, maybe in advance or inferred from the data. These uh, the network variable may be observable or hidden in all the uh, training tables. So in all the training tables will be similar. So when the both network structures or all variables are observable by computing only the CPT entries. Uh, in the scenario two, we have a network structure known that is some variables are hidden, but gradient or descent. Uh, there is a greedy hill climbing method by the searching of all the solutions along with the step-by-step descent of the uh, functions. 
Writes are initialized are to the random probability values, and each iteration, that means each iteration, it about words which what appears to the best solution of the moment with respect of the backtracking. So we have a weights are updated, and each iteration will cover on the local optimum. And the next one is a scenario three, we have a network structure unknown. All the variables are observable, but in the searching cases through the more spaces of the reconnecting network topology will be. Applied in the scenario three. When you come into the scenario four, uh, unknown structures like this, uh, whatever the structures are available on the yeah. network, and those few uh, structures are not available, that means not missing data or lost uh, loose data will be there in the structure. So those are the unknown structures. All the unknown structures are the hidden variables. No, no good algorithm known for this purpose. So this is not an accurate algorithm for this purpose. So by using all the tutorials of the Bayesian networks, a Bayesian networks will work on that particular value. Uh, for example, if you consider any example regarding this uh, Bayesian networks, it will show the training set of the data tuples, and these tuples will be variated within a computing of the gradients. Uh, within a formulas <clears throat> for each i, j, k are computed within a multiple values of the uh, probabilities. The probability of the right hand side uh, to be calculated for the each and every training tuples and it can be uh, hidden values are also be updated in these training tuples. And the next first step is uh, taking in a small step in the direction of the gradient values where you, have, where you already find out any gradient values in the previously by using the computational methods. That computational gradient methods will be using by as in a direction of the gradations and it can be renormalized the weights. So it can be renormalized the weights. So by using these uh, training of the Bayesian networks, we we'll completed the Bayesian belief networks. So in the Bayesian belief networks are uh, basically known as an a Bayesian networks of the probability networks, and it allows the classes of the conditional independences between the subsets of the variable. And it's a dependency creation of the Bayesian networks of the Navi Bayes classifiers. So, by using these Bayesian belief networks, the classifiers will work on the family structures of the dependent variables to create a joint probability distributions. So, this is the Bayesian belief network and the Bayesian belief family structure, or simply called as a Bayesian belief network. <coughs> so, thank you.